Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, and this is Cassette Cult. It's been a hot couple of minutes since the last episode of the show. Today, I wanted to do something a little different, talk about a specific subgenre and a specific scene, and this one is broad as hell. Subgenre and scene that I'm gonna be talking about today is uh, the new wave of traditional heavy metal. You probably have already gotten that from the Eternal Champion shirt and maybe from the records that you see here and the cassettes, of course, because this is Cassette Cult. But the reason why I want to talk about the genre specifically is because there is a huge movement worldwide of bands who are really embracing the classic style of metal. And when I say classic styles of metal, I mean bands are emulating stuff like Black Sabbath. They're emulating, you know, the speed metal of Exciter and, you know, the classic Judas Priest. Stuff like Witchfinder General. I mean, it's a pretty broad umbrella when I talk about the new wave of traditional heavy metal, and it's happening in Canada, it's happening in the United States, it's happening in Greece, it's happening in South America. So we're gonna try to percolate that or put that into something a little bit smaller and digestible, and we're gonna talk about three bands today. Let's get going. Wait a second, before I jump into bands, I do have a personal tie-in. On Saturday, my band Smolder, we are playing with the almighty Pagan Altar at Lee's Palace with two of Canada's best traditional heavy metal bands. Those bands are Montreal-based doom band, Cauchemar. They sing in French, they are awesome. And Toronto's own Blood Ceremony. You may be familiar with them because they basically sound like Jethro Tull mixed with Coven and it's awesome. Now obviously that is a trad metal tie-in. These are all traditional heavy metal bands. Ticket buy link is in the video description. Hope to see you there. Now, the first band that we're gonna talk about and this is important because it's a cassette and it's a demo. That band is Midnight Dice. Now, why am I talking about Midnight Dice and trad metal? Well, because Midnight Dice has risen from the ashes of this exceptionally popular band, Satan's Hollow. I believe I've talked about them on Banger before. Basically, they're this fantastic kind of speed trad metal band uh, that sounds like uh, Doro fronting Judas Priest. Their vocalist, Mandy, she's fantastic. This band was a bit of an anomaly because uh, they put out this great record and then they played a festival and then they broke up. So now they've got Midnight Dice. This brand new demo of theirs, it came out back in uh, or March 27th and uh, it follows in that spirit of the band. And it's only got three tracks. There is uh, two originals, including Roll On and Skyrider, and then there is a cover of the sweet song Set Me Free, which appeared on their 1974 album, Fanny Adams. We're gonna listen to the song Roll On. That's Midnight Dice. And specifically, we're talking about cassettes today because this is a perfect example of why cassettes are such an important part of heavy metal and traditional metal uh, specifically. This demo came up out back in March, ended up getting pressed to cassette via Hoofchild Records, which is the drummer of this band's label. And uh, it sold out and now it's getting pressed to vinyl. And so that's a great thing is that if your band ends up getting, you know, a physical release such as a cassette and then ends up selling out, then labels become more interested and they end up wanting to invest in another format. So that's great. It's, it, it really proves the cyclicality of the metal scene. And it also just kind of is not as much of a financial investment as a seven inch, which can set a label back or a band back several thousands of dollars and is a lot more of a risky investment. So cheers to Midnight Dice. This cassette uh, just got ended up or just ended up getting repressed. So you can get that over at Bandcamp. You can also buy the physical or the digital edition and soon you can buy the vinyl. Wee! All right, the second band that I wanna talk about when it comes to the new wave of traditional heavy metal is of course, the mighty eternal champion. They formed in 2012 in Texas and uh, in 2016, they put out the best album of that year, the mighty, the armor of ire. 
If you're not familiar with this record, uh, I highly recommend that you check it out on any platform that you can. It's a masterpiece. It's going to be one of those metal albums that's going to go down in history, uh, just like a lot of the records that are here right now. But we're talking about cassettes specifically because they put out a 250 run of this release, which is called Parallel of Death. And it's just two tracks. It's got two covers on it. They're of the uh, band's legend. They cover the song The Destroyer, and they also cover the song uh, Awakened by the Dawn by, by Mystic Force. I ended up calling the band because their drummer, Arthur Rizik, is a prolific mixing and mastering dude who works in the music industry. He also did uh, the mixing and mastering for Smolder, which was great. He uh, did the new most recent Two Mold and Sacred Reich as well. Uh, but I called him to talk about why the band chose cassettes specifically, and uh, this is what he had to say. So yeah, like I wanted to talk specifically about that cassette. Like what uh, capabilities yeah. does a cassette like this give to your band? Like how does that help you pay for recording? All those other types of things. Well, yeah, I mean, physical form always is the, is like the way in heavy metal to get a couple bucks for the band. I mean, heavy metal was, you know, made by people taking cassettes, copying other stuff, putting interviews on the other side of, of blank cassettes and making mixtapes, sending it to their friends, mailing back and forth. And it's just like, it's so fucking heavy metal. It was, it was how it spread. And you know, you can't like record over a vinyl, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it, to me, it's, it'll always remain as the most heavy metal format. You guys have um, maintained a lot of control over your band and uh, projects like this, at least financially, uh, would help you. I mean, we, we did sell out immediately and that and it ended up paying for like mer like some back merch orders that we had we probably will do another tape right before the record to kind of pay for uh, other things yeah. um related to the record so 200 tapes it, it was enough to like get us over the next hump sure we also love cassettes and we love to buy them we like the way they look we like the way they sound so it just made sense you heard the man. Cassettes are a really vital part of heavy metal history and uh, they continue to help bands to this day. Now, this specific cassette is now going on Discogs and eBay for an insane amount of money. I personally bought it the day it came out off the band's band camp. And uh, we're gonna listen to the song Awakened by the Dawn by Mystic Force, which has now become a staple of Eternal Champions live set and it is fantastic, so here it is. Whew. Ready? I love Eternal Champion. Uh, they are one of my favorite bands of uh, the last decade, uh, alongside bands like Atlantean Codex and Magic Circle. So yeah, that is this release. And uh, it's great to hear from a band specifically about why having multiple formats is such a benefit for them. Now for the third and final band. For that, we're going into Canada. I know it's just been American and Canadian bands. On another episode, we'll talk about all the sick bands from other countries. That last band is Koshmar. And I wanted to talk about Koshmar specifically because of the tie-in. Their vocalist, Anik, she's the one who wrote this fantastic heavy metal cookbook, which many of you may be familiar with. She also runs the label Temple of Mystery Records. Temple of Mystery Records are responsible for the Pagan Altar reissues, such as this one. Uh, I actually wrote the liner notes for the CD edition of this. It was reissued on vinyl, CD, and uh, cassette, and digital but she's also responsible for a lot of cassettes that I've purchased recently, and specifically for a compilation that features tons of fantastic Canadian trad metal bands. That compilation is the Trapped Under Ice compilation. This one is fantastic. It features tracks by Emblem, who we've talked about before on cassette called Freeways, whose cassette I've got right here. It's the one with the really sick, yeah, cold front. Freeways is great. They sound like Thin Lizzy. 
meets Budgie. They're from uh, Brampton, Ontario, which I guess could technically be considered Toronto. They've been very uh, embraced by the local Toronto scene. Uh, and they're playing festivals all across Europe this summer, which is great. Uh, they've also got tracks on here by Metallion, who you should be familiar with. Spell, who is one of Vancouver's best bands. Yeah, Starlight Ritual, it's great. On this cassette, we're gonna listen to the brand new Koshmar track. It's called Comme un Pugnard, and I'm really sorry I just butchered the shit out of that French, as one does, and as one does, I mean as I does. This is Koshmar. <laughs> As you can hear, uh, Koshmar sings in French, which is great. And actually a lot of the traditional heavy metal bands that are coming out right now sing in their native tongue, which is fantastic because to me, it really um, speaks to the globalism of heavy metal. And it also speaks to the roots, like trad metal is about the roots of the genre. And if you're singing in your native tongue, like that is badass. I know I've gone through tons of information. I've barely, barely, barely scratched the surface of the amazingness of traditional heavy metal. So I do have some homework for you if you're interested in the genre. There's two great resources for this specific style of metal. The first one is the New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal YouTube channel, who is run by Anderson. He's been very kind to uh, Banger and to my band specifically and to tons of other bands. He's constantly premiering stuff on his channel and uh, he is a diehard metal fanatic. The other resource that I really wanted to recommend to you guys was the Ride Into Glory Heavy Metal website. It's a blog, it primarily focuses on trad metal. They have lots of stuff on epic metal, doom metal, thrash metal, and they are super international. They have seen reports on like Japan, on Sweden, on you know South America, and they go all over the world and they talk about all the bands in this genre specifically that deserve a shout out. So both of those links are in the video description. And now I ask you, who's your favorite traditional heavy metal band? And who's the band that everyone should hear that they haven't heard yet? That's everything. This is another episode of Cassette Cult. I am Sarah. Thanks for watching Banger TV.